Welcome back to another video here on Fox Tech. In today's tutorial, or more like an explanation video, I am going to show you and talk about how to add a new message on your iPad. Whether you're using iMessage or syncing your text messages from your iPhone, I'm going to guide you through the steps to get everything set up. First of all, let's talk about sending regular text messages on a cellular iPad. If you have an iPad with an eSIM, you might wonder if you can send text messages directly from it. Unfortunately, you can't send regular SMS messages from an iPad without an iPhone. Data plans for iPads typically come with phone numbers for billing purposes, but they don't support placing or receiving calls or SMS messages. However, you can use iMessage through your email address, which works perfectly over the internet. To get started, you'll need to ensure that both your iPhone and iPad are set up correctly and running the latest version of iOS. First, check that both devices are signed into iCloud with the same Apple ID. You can verify this by looking for your name at the top of the settings app. This ensures that your devices are linked and can sync messages properly. Next, we'll configure the settings on your iPhone. Open the settings app and navigate to messages, then select send and receive. Here, make sure both your phone number and iCloud email address are checked. This step is crucial for enabling message syncing across your devices. Now let's enable text message forwarding on your iPhone. Still in the settings app under messages, scroll down to text message forwarding. Here you'll see a list of devices linked to your Apple ID. Enable text message forwarding for your iPad by toggling the switch next to it. This will allow your iPad to send, receive, and reply to SMS and MMS messages, syncing them with your iPhone. Once everything is set up, you can start or continue conversations seamlessly across your iPhone and iPad. This setup allows you to manage your messages more efficiently, regardless of which device you're using at the moment. It's important to note that this feature requires an active carrier plan and SIM card on your iPhone. Without a carrier plan, you can still use iMessage for messaging, which works over the internet without a SIM card. iMessage is indicated by blue bubbles, whereas regular SMS messages appear as green bubbles. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Fox Text. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable content. See you guys later.